What is up, FN True followers? JC Styles here with a quick double DVD review. Uh, just got done watching The Big Show, A Giant's World. And <clears throat> to be honest, I wasn't all that impressed. I mean, The Big Show hasn't had that long of a career, but it just go it just really you know the DVD I mean the documentary was sweet I mean the documentary on disc one was sweet uh, you know it was filled with a lot of stuff you know that we didn't know I mean giant the big show uh, suffers what it's called giantism um, and you know it's just something really interesting I mean it's one of the shortest documentaries because I remember Big Show. I mean, I remember Ric Flair, Triple H. Well, not Triple H. Uh, Big Show, Eddie Guerrero. Damn it, Ric Flair, Eddie Guerrero, and which one was it? And Shawn Michaels being a little bit longer than one hour, and it seemed so short with the docs. The doc was so short, but I mean, it was filled with a lot of like bonus content as well I mean there was story Triple H told a couple of stories about how uh, Big Show went out and was peeking his head out out to the crowd during the live show and he had was having a fan go and grab him some hot dogs and and uh, there was a time where the, uh, there was also a story on there where Sh uh, Triple H was telling that um, that you know how they WWE has that 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 corporate jet plane that has WWE on the side, the one that Triple H and DX tried, that tagged, uh, DX, Triple H and Shawn Michaels tagged, the black one with the WWE logo, um, Big Show was going to get off of that, and the, 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 the stairs broke out, and he went flying, it, it was just, it was just some, it was more good humor than it was, like, doc, you know, like, documentaries, I mean, it had some of his good stuff, his earlier stuff, uh, WCW, his feud with Hogan. It didn't. Well, it didn't really have too much of the Hogan, to be honest. Uh, it didn't have too much of his WCW. They had maybe like two, three, maybe four or five matches from WCW, and then everything with else was pretty much just WWE. Uh, I mean, they had matches with uh, Hogan. He had the matches with The Rock. He had matches with Triple H. He had the matches with The Undertaker, Mick Foley, you know, it was, but don't get me wrong, it was a decent DVD, it just really wasn't all that par that we, I thought it was going to be, I thought, I got hyped up for it, and I was kind of a little disappointed, and, uh, but I still like the big show, I still like watching him wrestle, I still like, you know, I'll still, I'll watch it again and again, I'll watch the DVDs again when I'm in the mood to want to watch it, I mean, I have so many DVDs. I mean, guys, I've been buying DVDs left and right off of Amazon and off F uh, FYE, and I really don't. You know, I don't really. I don't. I have the time to sit down and watch them. I just haven't sat down to watch them. I mean, I have almost all the 2003 now, and I still haven't gotten down to watch a single 2003 DVD. But uh, also, this is um, Undertaker Deadliest Matches DVD review. I'm sorry that I don't have the DVD. I actually went over to my friend's house uh, last night, one of my other friend's house, and watched it. Uh, not Brian. <laughs> one of my other wrestling buddies that I work with actually uh, had the DVD. He bought it for his little brother. And he's like, hey, man, why don't we watch the Big Show DVD? I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, but like I was saying, Undertaker Deadliest Matches DVD, as you all know, I do own it. So I'll pull that bad boy out real quick. Right there, Undertaker Deadliest Matches. I'll pull out the insert and I'll just do a quick review of this. Rock quick. Alright. Uh, like I said when I did the unveiling for that, um, I don't know if I did the DVD review. I don't remember exactly. Uh, this was a good DVD. I enjoyed it. Um, I definitely loved uh, watching the Undertaker's old school uh, segments. Uh, Definitely enjoyed watching The Undertaker's when he would build the caskets right before the casket matches. Um, the makeup, the detail that they did on his face, man, was phenomenal. Uh, the only thing is the deadliest matches, and I mean deadliest matches. I'll run through real quick and just give you a brief little disc one. 
had The Undertaker vs. Ultimate Warrior, Madison Square Garden, July 1st, 1991, body bag match. Custom made coffin, coffin match, Undertaker vs. Kamala, Survivor Series 1992. Grim Reaper, casket match, Undertaker vs. Kama, August 27th, 1995. Casket match, Undertaker vs. King Mabel in your house on December 17, 1995. Undertaker vs. Mankind, King of the Ring, June 23, 1996. Ball, boiler Room Brawl, Undertaker vs. Mankind, SummerSlam, 8, uh, August 18, 1996. So as you can tell, it's basically all of his gimmick matches. Uh, Hell in the Cell, Elimination Chamber, um... Casket matches, body bag matches, you know, buried alive matches. But don't, like I said, don't get me wrong, this DVD was very good. I definitely enjoyed watching it. I just wish that it was a little bit better. That's kind of like, it's kind of like the WWE's top 50 superstars of all time. I'm not going to, I'll watch it, but I'm never, I, I don't have it. I'll pro I won't even probably buy it. To be honest, I'll probably watch it on YouTube and do a review on it because... From what I heard, it was a very biased DVD, and I mean, Ric Flair was I think like what, twenty five, and Undertaker and Shawn Michaels was two and one and two. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad I'm, I, I love that Shawn Michaels was number one or Shawn Michaels was number two or whatever, but it's a very biased DVD, you know. So it's like, what to give. Uh, but again, you know, this DVD was very good. I would suggest picking it up to anybody who's an Undertaker fan, or even if you're just trying to collect uh, all the three disc sets like I am, uh, pick it up. I'm definitely uh, going to do a review on the WWE's Highest Flyers. Um, when I get that, I'm definitely going to get the WCW, I mean, the WWE's home video, Best of the Monday Night, uh, Monday Night Nitro with DEP. Uh, I saw on over the net that they have a content list out. It gives you a list of what everything is going to be, what's going to be on the disc, and I was what, looking and reading through it. And, um, it's going to be a one hell of a DVD. I also hope that WWE will continue, uh, will bring back the best of Raw seasons three and four. Uh, they stopped doing that because one and two didn't really do all that well in sales. Uh, but also, I definitely want to see the build, the, the best of Goldberg, the, the the Goldberg DVD. I heard that that one was put on hold to do the Nitro DVD. Uh, so I'm hoping for that, and I'm definitely want to get the DX DVD that's coming out this year. Hopefully, they'll go back from the very beginning, all the way up until their last stint that they did uh, a couple of years ago. So, guys, this has been my DVD review for the Undertaker Deadliest Matches and Big Shows, G A Giant's World. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry, I wasn't you know too in depth with the Big Show DVD. Like I said, I don't have the DVD in front of me. It's at my buddy's house. Uh, it's his D his DVD again. So I wasn't able to... Uh, if I had, you know, the, the list of what's on the DVD, I would tell you. But, anyway, thanks for watching. It's Sunday, 1.20 p.m. It's raining out. And I wanted to get in front of the camera and do something for you guys. So, I'll talk to you guys later.